Hello everybody and welcome to my first video on Greenlands, which is a brand new upcoming map. So a huge thank you to Peter716, who is the creator of this, and also a big thank you for sharing it with me so I can produce this first video. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so as usual, I'm starting the video where we spawn. I've not toured the map before ever, so it's a total surprise to me, and it probably is to you as well, um, although you may recognise... Uh, the map from 19. So it is a pretty big map, as you can see, over 100 fields. Not forgetting this large area at the bottom. Yeah, you do sort of think, oh, it's the bottom of the map, but no, not to be missed. A very large woodland area, as you can see. And um, yeah, we've got these big dense forests as well with a big river. So good to see. And of course, we have the village as well. This is the village of Greenlands. So Yes, we'll be looking at this and all the farms, but as there are a hundred fields, I don't know if we can look at every single one. So we're just going to follow the, the road as we usually do in my videos. Actually, it does seem to be a good loop, the road here. So yeah, where are we currently? Where do we start? We're starting pretty much dead central, which makes it easy. Let's take a look and see which tractors we have. Okay, there's quite a few. Ooh, the Landini tractor. I'm going to use that because I've never used it before much bigger Landini to the one I've been using and um, yes I can see there is another note here which says that you can remove the hedges and the gates to make it a big open map so that would be interesting for anybody who prefers it to be much more open okay so I believe this is Greenland's farm I guess it would make sense to tour this first farm on foot so we have first of all a large petrol tank just here the silo is empty um, you can see that we can select a product to add to it so yeah 15,000 litres yes we do want to buy it and you can see it's filled it so there we go next up we have an animal shed as you can see we've got a cow barn here and this is the one with a feeding robot so pretty expensive. We'll go all the way through. Uh, a beautiful countryside. And as usual, I do have depth of field switched off, so you can have that lovely view distance. Lots of grass fields. I like the gates. And it's really enclosed with the hedges. Oh yes, rolling countryside. Beautiful. And I'm just going to have to run down here because I've just noticed the river and I can never resist. Whenever I see a river, I must run to it. But I'm sure we'll be seeing the river quite a few times. Just take a look. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So back over at the farm again, we have the manure heap extension. We have all the inputs here, the feed inputs. The feeding robot. All expensive looking stuff clever stuff a silo on the back and we've got a gate here which we'll just go through since we're at the farm I will look at the fields which are surrounding it but all the ones which are just out in the open we'll have to see from above yeah it's pretty steep actually I can imagine the tractors uh, would have trouble pulling a full load of bales or manure up here be interesting to see. Bit of a challenge, definitely adds a challenge to the map. And what do we have over here? Is this some kind of water fill point? I would say it is. It looks like it probably is. It is marked on the map, so we'll just quickly take a look. Yep, water. So that's a, a nice idea. Pump it out the river. And then of course, beyond the bridge we do have loads more fields. Right, so I keep deviating from the farm. There's so much to see. This is nice. Really enclosed with the trees. At the back of the farmyard. So there we have our Matty Ferguson 3700 AL. Along with lots of starting equipment. Muck spreader. Is this a slurry spreader? I think it is. Yep. And a loading wagon. So all the equipment which we need at this farm, basically, all the grass work equipment, anything related to animals. So we have a silage pit here, and we have a pigsty next to it. With lots of grass fields surrounding it. 
Nice little gate there tucked in. And this will be the road which takes us up to all the other fields. So we will be driving this in a minute or two. But you can see, yeah, it's not all grass. We do have arable. We have got a crop of oats here. Looking at the minimap, we do have two ways of getting in and out of this farm. You can do a full loop. We're going to take the road rather than the farm track. But I think we're going to end this video by coming up the other way, past field number 62. So yeah, there is the house. Just have a quick tour of this. A lovely looking house. And we do have some interiors. Not there. Some windows, especially the upstairs, where there isn't a shutter across. Just really brings it to life. And of course we have our pickup truck as well, which probably would be the sensible vehicle to do the tour in. But yeah, sort of showing off this Landini at the same time. First time I've been in it. So let's keep that minimap open. I don't want to miss anything, but I probably will do. Got a cattle grid. Oh yeah, very well laid out. Nice to have some uh, variety when it comes to the shape of the road. It's not just straight, it's uh, nice and twisty. Lots of crops around. Yeah, so I'm going to go, I think, right out of here. Look at that view distance. And that is looking across that massive expanse of land which we have access to. Again, the road is not just a perfect circle. Lots of variety. Okay, so we come across the first location. What do we have here? Let's just pull over. So this is Agricultural Engineers. Taylor's Agricultural Engineers. Big workshop here. Yep, so this is where you can buy equipment, repair it, modify it, customise it. And yeah, these are the help icons. So that is our first place. I'll just show you on the, uh, the map on here exactly where we are each time. So we're here at the moment. We're going to be doing this loop, then we're going to go up here, do that farm, come back down here, do these areas, do this farm, and then finish by going up there. So it really is going to be a full loop. We're going to go clockwise. So we have a sign up here. This must say the village of Greenlands. There we go. Access to a fill through there. This must be the most built up this map gets. Lots and lots of houses. Oh, that's nice. And again, I could very easily miss something. I already have done, actually. That farm track. I'm just going to go on first. Wow, this is so detailed. I always feel like I'm rushing when I do my first videos because there's always so much to see and I don't want the video to be about two hours long. There's definitely a place of interest here. Is it a sawmill? Timber time woodwork. Okay, so this is the carpentry where we can bring our planks to and our timber. Just quickly run around the back. Yep, so there we go. That must be to buy it. So yeah, there we go. £60,000. So we do already have placeables, production placeables, integrated into the map, which is good because otherwise you're going to be taking up fields by placing more. And I believe this is the beginning of the big loop. Greenland's wild space. Yep, so it's just a massive area. Wow, one thing I haven't done actually is taken a look to see what we own. So we do own all of those fields surrounding the main farm, uh, plus some arable fields as well. As for this area, yeah, but separated into sections. So it's all segmented. 
I think the best thing to do is for me to walk it. I'm going to walk around uh, because we'll meet up with our own tractor anyway, so it's fine. And uh, it's not really that easy to appreciate everything when you are in a tractor. Sometimes you've got to be on foot. So unlike the dense forests, we do have some trees, but it is mostly grassland. It looks like it's left for wildlife, it's just very natural. Lovely, it's just a nice place to be. And up here we have another shed. It's always so much more exciting when you explore something for the first time. You just don't know what you're going to get. It's just always so unique and so fresh. Which is why I do enjoy doing first videos. Especially if I haven't seen any screenshots first. And for this one, I have I think I've seen two or three, but I haven't seen a great deal. A really nice timber barn. Lovely. Good place to put some bales or some equipment. Right, so we have come off the track a bit here. What we need to do is go back in this direction. And we're going to be going to fin number 83 and 84. I believe the entrance to both of these is just up here. I can see a recessed part. There we go. And yes, we've got the nice big double gate so we can get the big combine harvesters in. I don't have a big problem against the single gates, it's just the problem is if you do want to go for the big equipment, like bigger than what the map is sort of designed for, it can be quite hard work. But yeah, with 100 fields, I think this map is going to be uh, enough to justify having some pretty big stuff. I need to get into there somehow. I think it's the auctioneers. Yep, Greenland's auction centre. So this is where we can buy the animals. Yep, so you just choose your destination, where you want the animals to go to. Around the back we have some buy points and sell points by the look of it. I think that is a wall sell point, a bale sell point. Yep, that is the, uh, the wall placeable. Uh, production and then we have what looks to be a very large old-fashioned water tower so it must be a place to buy water and I'm just trying to figure these out I think that's for milk that must be a milk cell point to begin with I thought oh, maybe it's a place to buy liquid fertilizer but no I think it is for milk let's just check that yes it is for milk it would make sense since we already have the cell points there for wool and for bales so, let's get back up here, and we'll join up with our tractor. Oh, we have another surprise. I have found another building. Some storage sheds and a silage pit. Lovely. So that is next to fill number 70. I think... Yeah, we'll be able to jump back into the tractor in a minute, but there is something else on the left-hand side. There's so much stuff. Oh, okay, it is the fuel station. J&M fuel station. And PMP's cafe. What do we have here? It's a cell point. Um, I think that is a... What's this? Buy three washes, get one free. Washing and laundry. 24 hour service. Yep, there's definitely a, uh, a huge attention to detail. It's a store. Right, back into the tractor. And we can continue our journey. Yeah, there is so much to see around here. Not to mention all the detailing inside the uh, residential gardens. Greenland's Grain Mill. So there's another cell point. 
got the grain silos as well. This map is vast. It's going to keep going forever. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I, I do like a bridge over a river. It always looks good. And this must be the hillier side. It's much steeper. In fact, the best thing for me to do is just to zoom out and we can try and see all the fields from a distance without crashing into the cars. Because I think you do get the idea with the fields. If there's nothing like a an old farmyard or an old barn or something, it is uh, fairly self-explanatory. Very nice though. Oh, I have just spotted that that is a forest, so we do need to go up there. Just let the traffic pass, there we go. I almost missed it. So there may well be several ways of getting to this forest. I'm just pretty much going as the crow flies. They do look dense, looking at the minimap it looks like a very dense forest. There's no shortage of trees. Full of spruce trees. And yeah, actually, as it turns out, that looks like it is the way in across this field. Oh yeah, this is very dense. I always find a forest is a good place to hide something, a secret. So I have discovered in the past that mappers have put like a an Easter egg in the forest. I don't know if there's something here. I'm always very tempted to look around. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I've not been on this map before, so... I really don't know if there is anything. But there you go. A brilliant forest. If you're into forestry, bring the big logging equipment into here. And you'll be able to get it cleared, and then you can replant it. Okay, back to the tractor. And we're going to stumble across another farm. So I'm pretty much guessing here, but I think this is probably, because I have a list of the three farms in front of me, I would say this is Roadside Farm. It should say on the gate. It is Roadside Farm. I'm going to pull in here. This must be Roadside Farmhouse. So we've got a fuel tank, some big storage sheds, huge manure storage points, and this must be for, what's this, pigsty, yeah pigsty again, and nice little woodlandy area, some silver birch trees, and then out into a wide expanse of grass. So you can make those hay bales for all the different animals. Or silage bales, or grass bales, whatever. And yeah, look at this, we've got some good sheds here. We did actually have some of these earlier. Yeah, there's no shortage of space just to keep all your equipment. Lots and lots of space, and a grain silo. And all the gates open and close. It's just I am jumping some of them. And they look very weathered. Okay, right, so back into the tractor. Hopefully I've not missed anything here. I would just go back on the map again and see exactly what we have upcoming. Yep, so we're here. Uh, there's going to be something here and something here which we need to discover. And, oh, what's that? I don't know what that is. That could just be a farm track, it's hard to say. I will probably run down there. But so far, loving it. Seems like a very nice map, detailed, and I've just pulled out in front of a car. <laughs> I'm sure they won't mind. Yeah, it, it is uh, clearly another one of these very high quality maps. And it's running, despite all the trees, it is running very smoothly. Put my frames per second up. 
There we go, 60 frames per second consistently. Right, so that turning is somewhere up here. It might just be a farm track with trees. But as I said, I do not want to miss anything at all. Ooh, a nice corn crop. Okay, I think it was over here. Oh, it's just a nice little clump of trees. It just breaks all the fields up nicely. Very nice. Yeah, anytime I see anything like that, I have to go to it to see what it is. Anyway, next up we do have some buildings. We have a house with some sheds. And we have some more sheds over there. So let's just pull over. What do we have here? Uh, this is Woodview Farm. Okay, so we'll go up there in a minute or two. Let's first of all just see this. Woodview House. Okay, oh, it looks very nice. Very nice barn, two very nice barns. Oh yeah, what a nice property. We've got a little area up there. Better not... Okay, let's just jump on their car and have a look. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's great at night when you stood there looking at the stars. Lovely. Can't really make a habit of bouncing on people's cars though, just to get a better view of their own house. We have another house up here. So there we go. Two large, very large, open fronted sheds. One thing this map is definitely not short of is sheds, storage sheds and trees. So it's actually a really good forestry map. But then again, that doesn't really surprise me when it is called Greenland. It's going to be pretty green with lots of trees. Yes, my uh, indicator doesn't work on this tractor. Works on some and not on others, which is interesting. Ever since that patch. Anyway, we have another bridge just down here. And this is the start of a very, very dense woodland. With a river running through it. Does it get any better? Always looks so magical when you look down a river. And I'm actually quite intrigued to see how deep this is. There's the bridge. Oh, it's pretty deep. Okay, so just to give you an idea, that is quite an expanse. We're going to be driving through the middle of it anyway. Uh, looks like we might have some younger trees here, or a different type of tree. We will have to see, uh, and then we're going to be coming across a sawmill. Let's cross this bridge. Just a tunnel of trees in front. Quite a drop. Yeah, I am absolutely amazed how smoothly this map is running with all the trees, because I can remember on 19 when I had loads of trees it would cause so much lag but it must just be very well optimised again even in the trees 60 frames per second that's brilliant and that's where it's showing a different colour it might be because it's steeper I really don't know Wow, there really are some really steep fields. Um, and a good view too. Oh, there's the BGA. But first, the sawmill on the left-hand side. Green side sawmill. And that's the wood chip cell point. And for those people who like traffic, there's plenty of traffic. There's a house which looks like it's being renovated. Yeah, because I know not all maps do have traffic. Sometimes they have the road, but not the AI.
Yep, so this is the BGA complex. Let's just see here. Greenside BGA plant. Wow, that is big. Huge. We have the anaerobic digesters. Ah, and of course, yes, this map does have integrated into it the stone crusher, which doubles up as a lime production. As I stand in the trigger here, you can say it says rock crusher lime production. So that's a great way of getting lime from the rocks. More trees on the left hand side. We have more grass fields behind by the look of it. Yep. And next up, I need to take a turning left. Just up here. I really do like these clumps of trees, like triangles of trees. Makes it feel very natural. Uh, Greenside Farm, here we go. Okay, so again we have the farmhouse, workshop, sheds, sheep barn, this must be for cows, got a cow barn over here, and then we have this track which runs to all the fields behind, but as you can see we don't own it. We don't own it from the start, so you can buy it. It's a whole complex for £363,885. Which actually seems like a pretty good deal. I must also add that all 100 fields have contracts enabled. So there really will be no shortage of jobs to do. I think this is probably my favourite farm yet. Very nice. Just sort of tucked away. Yeah, it's pretty busy. Okay then, so what do we have next? I think we're going to be taking our turning. I probably Yes, I've missed it. It was actually opposite there. Um, I don't want to miss anything else though. Have I been to the place near to 87? Did I go there? Yes, that was the engineers. Okay, so that's where we came down before. This is the only piece of road that I've never covered before, but it, it is just an access route to all of these fields, so we'll just spin around over here and go back up the other way. I'm impressed. This is a really good map. Very detailed. Sometimes you think, oh, it's got 100 fields, it can't be that detailed, but it really is. I think it helps as well how it's got such rolling countryside, it's not just totally flat. Right, should we turn left here somewhere? Here we go. Wow, no wonder I missed it. It's very secretive. Yeah, this is my kind of farm track. We should end up next to the... I think it's the pig farm. So much to explore. But from the moment you download the map, you're going to have loads to do because you do start off with quite a lot of land. It's amazing, it goes on for ages. But here we go. Back to where we started. We have done a full loop. It's brilliant. Yep, that's where I walked up to. I walked up to that gate. And we're back at the silage pit. So, I really hope you've enjoyed this first little video. Obviously, it's actually in a way better if I haven't shown everything. I think I might have done, but sometimes it is better because then you can explore it for yourself when it is released. Uh, now, at the time of uh, publishing this video, it might be out. I really don't know. Um, but if not, it is coming soon. So, once again, a massive thank you to Peter716. Really appreciated. Absolutely lovely map really is good and uh, yeah there we go thanks for watching and i'll see you again very soon bye for now